This document was recovered by the SCP Foundation Alternate Reality Intelligence Agency from Alternate Reality B3764. SCP Foundation, message for public consumption. Dated 27th of Romulary, 1983. Please watch this notice carefully. Due to an unexpected increase in the anomalous cold weather conditions around the globe, the SCP Foundation and Global Occult Coalition are announcing emergency steps to ensure global safety and security. The SCP Foundation and Global Occult Coalition are undergoing merger to form an organization for the security and survival of humanity named Aegis. Aegis will assume governmental authority and responsibility for nations whose governments have collapsed due to the current ongoing crisis. Aegis will also coordinate the global response to the anomalous cold weather conditions. In the coming days, Aegis will announce measures to Ration food and water Ration fuel Coordinate the construction of shelter Coordinate the construction of large-scale heating devices. Coordinate a global after-dark curfew. Civilians must follow the instructions of all Aegis personnel at all times. Furthermore, all civilians must follow the basic safety guidance outlined by the SCP Foundation and GOC, now Aegis. The basic safety guidance is as follows. Wear several layers of thick clothing whenever you are outside, including gloves, hats and face coverings. Ensure that you are never more than three minutes away from a heat source, such as an intense fire or electric heater, in case there is a sudden cold wave. If your vehicle breaks down and a cold wave is incoming, stay inside the vehicle. Move your arms and legs to stay warm. Do not fall asleep. Ensure that your home, or temporary shelter, is heavily insulated against the cold. This should include fabric and foam padding if possible. Shut and cover all windows in your home or temporary shelter at all times, to keep in warmth and keep out cold air. Make sure to have supplies, water and unperishable foods that require minimal preparation, and a first aid kit. Remember that the cold may tax your immune system and make you more vulnerable to illness. Maintain access to antibiotic medication if possible. All communities should be sure to care for their most vulnerable members, especially the young, old, and chronically ill. Thank you for your attention and cooperation at this time. Aegis. We die in the cold. That mankind may live in the warmth of a new day. Aegis. Message for public consumption. Dated. 30th of February, 1984. Please watch this notice carefully. This is a reminder to all civilians. The Aegis enforced curfew is at 20 hundred hours every day. Civilians who are found outside after that time will be detained and may be terminated without trial. Ration distribution will be delayed this week due to supply chain issues. If you require emergency rations of medicine you should contact your nearest Aegis Medical Department representative. All civilians are reminded that joining Aegis in any capacity will guarantee that you are given food, water, and medicine ration priority. Aiding in anomaly termination missions, or construction of a large auto-heated habitat in your area, will guarantee ration priority for you, and also your family. All civilians are reminded that Executive Order 12.8 is in effect, and that it is prohibited in Aegis territory to give medicine, food, or water to those over the age of 65, or the chronically ill. If a member of your community is violating this order, they are contributing to the extinction of humanity, and should be reported to Aegis authorities for detention and termination. All civilians are reminded that Executive Order 12.9 is in effect, and that all fuels such as petroleum, coal, and wood must be given to Aegis to be redistributed to Aegis personnel. Once large auto-heating habitats have been constructed in temperate zones, 
populations will be relocated within the habitats and executive orders will be repealed. Work hard. Obey Aegis. Hold on to hope. Humanity will endure. Thank you for your attention and cooperation at this time. Aegis. We die in the cold, that mankind may live in the warmth of a new day. Aegis Artificial Intelligence System, Horus.AIC. Automatic alert dated, 16th of September 1999. If you are seeing this message, please pay attention and follow the instructions within. If you are seeing this message, global population estimates have reached a critically low threshold and the human race is close to extinction. You must travel to Mount Yellowstone, in the United States of America, and activate SCP-2000. SCP-2000 is a large construction and cloning facility designed to restart the human race, in the event of an end-of-the-world scenario. SCP-2000 has not yet been activated, which means that all Aegis personnel are likely already dead. You are the only option left to activate SCP-2000. Fuel is likely to freeze inside any vehicle you may use, and the majority of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans have frozen. You must walk to Yellowstone. If you are not already located in the United States of America, this may be difficult. However, the survival of humanity depends on your success. Remember to follow basic safety guidance, especially when traveling through mountains and across the Pacific and Atlantic Oceanic Ice Plains. Good luck on your travel. The future of humanity lies in your hands. Do not let your species down. Thank you for your attention and cooperation at this time. Aegis. We die in the cold that mankind may live in the warmth of a new day. It is unclear what anomaly caused the global anomalous cold weather which spread across the Earth of alternate reality B3764. Research is ongoing to determine whether a variant of the anomaly exists in our reality. Thank you for your attention. Secure. Contain. Protect.